Joanne S. Lublin, Earning It. Embark on a journey of breaking through gender barriers and shattering glass ceilings with the book Earning It by Joanne S. Lublin. In this summary, you'll learn about the struggles and accomplishments of trailblazing women who changed the landscape of the corporate world. Discover the importance of tenacity, stepping out of your comfort zone, dealing with stereotypes, and mastering negotiation skills for career progression. Although progress has been made towards gender equality, challenges still remain, and this summary will provide insights on navigating these obstacles, drawing inspiration from the experiences of influential women who have pushed the boundaries and led the way for a new generation of aspiring female leaders. Gender Equality in American Business Despite legislative efforts like the Equal Pay Act and Civil Rights Act, gender-based discrimination remains prevalent in the American workplace. Women have made significant progress in the last few decades, with almost 39% of workers being women and 14.6% of Fortune 500 businesses having female executive officers. However, women still face challenges breaking through the glass ceiling and earning equal pay, with the gender pay gap narrowing only slightly from 60 to 78 cents per dollar over the past four decades. Experts estimate it will take over 100 years to achieve complete gender parity in business leadership. Breaking Gender Stereotypes in the Workplace Executives emphasize the value of working your way up from an entry-level position to push through obstacles and open doors at the beginning of your career. Beth Mooney, the first female CEO of one of the 20 largest American commercial banks, refused to do menial tasks after taking a job as a bank secretary, eventually cornering the head of her bank's training program to join despite objections. Despite only being offered $14,000 annually compared to her male counterparts, she and another female trainee outperformed the men and landed full-time positions in record time. This highlights the importance of tenacity and breaking through gender stereotypes in the workplace, as acting like a leader or a woman can violate stereotypes for both. Thriving in less-than-ideal jobs This book section recounts the success stories of three women who turned less-than-ideal jobs into thriving careers. Meg Whitman, the CEO of Hewlett-Packard Enterprise, urges employees to execute every task to the best of their abilities. Andrea Young, the former merchandise manager of Intimate Apparel at Bloomingdale's, transformed her department into a profitable venture and later became the U.S. product marketing president at Avon Products. Diane M. Bryant, the executive vice president at Intel, adapted to a male-dominated culture, infiltrated social situations, and managed nearly 30% of Intel's revenue. The section also offers tips from various experts, including Deborah M. Kolb from the Center for Gender in Organizations, who advises women to negotiate their pay and Teresa Taylor from Quest Communications, who encourages employees to communicate their career goals to their bosses. The passage emphasizes the importance of seizing opportunities, executing tasks to the best of one's abilities, and adapting to unfavorable situations to thrive in one's career. Overcoming Workplace Sexual Harassment Sexual harassment has been a long-standing problem in the workplace, with statistics showing that 25% of women are victims of it. Linda Hudson, the first woman to lead Pentagon supplier BAE Systems, decided to tackle the issue head-on. She eliminated unfair treatment of employees and required managers to take a class on unconscious biases in the workplace. Another executive, Melissa Dirtle, encourages victims to set aside emotions and focus on seeking justice instead of revenge. It's time to confront and overcome workplace sexual harassment. Decades-long gender pay gap A report by the Institute for Women's Policy Research revealed that American women will only attain gender pay equality by 2058. The pay gap causes women to lose over $500,000 during their working lives. Causes for this disparity range from women's job choice, career breaks, experience, hours of work, lack of child care facilities, union membership, and women's loyalty to their employers. 93% of the pay gap comes from women receiving lower rewards from bonuses and stocks. 
Women experience negative consequences when negotiating hard for themselves over pay due to social backlash and stereotypes. Women advise to cope with colleagues who are reluctant to be managed by women. Professionals were urged to look into earning comparisons between their peers, prerequisites, and job package details. Risks, challenges, and success for women in leadership. Taking risks, conquering challenges and facing the glass cliff are the keys to success for women in leadership roles. The shortage of women in top positions means that up-and-coming female executives lack role models. Cheryl A. Batchelder, the former CEO of KFC encountered gender-based stereotypes and health problems that made her early time at KFC difficult, but she drew on her failures to eventually succeed as CEO of Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen. Taking risks and working outside of one's comfort zone can increase visibility, but women may face the glass cliff when taking on a project during a crisis or when a company lacks resources. Melanie Healy, the first female head of Procter & Gamble's North American unit, suggested developing feminine care products that delight women, ultimately launching the successful Tampax Pearl Tampon. As a manager and mother, Mary Dillon, CEO of Ulta Salon Cosmetics and Fragrance Incorporated, emphasizes the importance of a sense of humor and letting things go as part of the journey to leadership success. Career Challenges for Working Mothers Despite progress in gender equality, working mothers still face significant challenges in the workplace. Parenthood can be a major hurdle for female managers who want to advance in their careers, while fathers are less affected. Sexual harassment often targets women who challenge traditional gender roles, making assertiveness a necessary career skill for women. Meanwhile, working couples often struggle to find a balance between both of their careers and personal lives, requiring them to be flexible and creative with their solutions. The experiences of successful female executives, such as Irene Rosenfeld and Geraldine Laybourne, can serve as inspirations for women looking to forge their own path. Keys to Success with Men as Mentors Female leaders can benefit greatly from male mentors. Success stories such as that of Maggie Wilderotter show that by aiming for positions that require quantitative accomplishments, women can gain valuable evaluations of their achievements. The importance of identifying potential mentors and good management habits is stressed, with observing male mentors as a source of inspiration. It is suggested that having a male champion can be especially beneficial to women in leadership roles. Finally, key individuals exemplifying the success of women in pursuit of leadership positions, including General Motors Chief Executive Mary Barra, are highlighted. Overcoming Gender Stereotypes Learning to handle gender-based stereotypes can help women gain the respect of male co-workers and clients. According to successful female executives, it is important to be both collaborative and decisive, enforce workplace decorum, and view oneself as a confident leader. Diffusing gender bias involves getting to know male colleagues, encouraging understanding and feedback, and being a role model for subordinates. Enhancing your executive presence Executive presence pertains to the combination of genuineness, assurance, and a unique personal style. As an aspiring executive, you have to effectively communicate this blend through your demeanor, speech, and choice of attire. To succeed in mid-career, you must be ready to advance your career. Having a firm grip on your identity is a key characteristic of a good leader. Women in the corporate world must be particularly mindful of their self-assurance and unwavering conviction. Even as of 2015, females only comprise 13.3% of Russell 3000 Index corporate board members. Diversifying corporate boards can generate better financial performance for large organizations. In conclusion, the book Earning It sheds light on the incredible journeys of women who've defied stereotypes, persevered through challenges, and emerged as influential figures in their respective fields. From the first female leader of a Fortune 500 company, Catherine Graham, to the inspiring story of Beth Mooney, who became the first female chief executive at one of the 20 largest American commercial banks, this summary highlights the power of resilience, determination, and adaptability. By tackling the hurdles of the corporate world head-on, embracing calculated risks, 
and displaying a strong executive presence, women pave their way to a future where gender equality prevails and success is abundant for those who dare to pursue it.